Hey Geeks, it's Minx. It's time for another Once Upon a Time review. We're doing episode 3, which aired last night, so if you haven't seen it, you can go catch it at watchapc.com. Um, I highly recommend it, um, because there's going to be spoilers in this video. So let's just go ahead and jump in. Uh, we kick off with Regina having a conversation with the Charmings about um, trying to get some help from Hyde and offering up her famous lasagna as, you know, good stuff. And it turns out the Evil Queen's already been there and provided him with pretty much all the furnishings someone from, you know, a steampunk era could ever want. Uh, which, of course, pisses off Regina. And he, of course, you know, Hyde, of course, doesn't say anything. So that just kind of went down the two pooper. Uh, majority of this um, episode actually surrounded Cinderella, which is interesting considering we saw Cinderella, I think, during the first season, and then nothing since then, really. So that was kind of cool. We end up finding out that in present day, she runs the daycare. Um, and the interesting thing with the Cinderella story uh, in this particular episode is it kind of mirrors uh, I think it was Cinderella 2 which was I think their direct-to-video uh, animated feature um, except for I think the difference was it wasn't a footman that one of the stepsisters liked it was actually uh, like a butcher or a baker or something like that, that they fell in love with um, but it definitely ran along the same vein for sure um, so I found that pretty interesting um, we got Dr. Jekyll trying to figure out how the Evil Queen is still alive, um, and, you know, trying to reproduce the serum that they use to break them apart, um, so we've got that, he's trying to figure it out that way. Uh, meanwhile, Charming goes and confronts Rumple about his father's coin and offers him up a deal, which we find out what the other side of that is at the end of the show, um, but he gives him the information he needs. Um, which is actually really interesting because the f next uh, scene is the Evil Queen having an argument with Emma and Hook and Henry and she pretty much tells them, I'm taking you off the chessboard and she you know, poofs them somewhere else. Um, I found that kind of interesting considering the in the prior scene with Rumpel and David, Rumpel was actually playing chess on a glass chessboard, which I thought was kind of a cool, almost like foreshadowing kind of thing. Um, so David ends up delivering a tape to Belle for Rumpel. That was his end of the deal. Um, we find out later at the end that it's actually a, like a lullaby poem that he's reciting for the baby, um, which I thought was actually really cute um, and, and really pretty pretty awesome um, so we kind of find out like I said earlier this is kind of like Cinderella too um, where Cinderella's stepsister falls in love with somebody who's not up to snuff as far as their 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 mom goes and um, Cinderella is trying to help her um, so I will say this about the stepmom. The stepmom is scary. That woman is probably sc is scarier to me than when we did the the villains, um, than when we did the what was it the the queens of evil. She is much scarier than Ursula. She's much scarier to me than uh, Cruella. Um, Maleficent. Well, she's my favorite uh, villain anyway. But yeah, like. The evil stepmother is just, she's terrifying. Like, uh, compared to all the other villains, like, she's she's legit, like, scary. Um, plus, it's like, how they, man, they got her hair just right, that's for sure. Um, I was always, I was always kind of scared of the evil stepmother during, like, watching Cinderella as a kid. So, um, it's no surprise that, uh, she tricks Cinderella into giving her the location of her stepsister uh, and breaks the glass slipper. Um, so, um, yeah. So that's that's no that you you know that's gonna happen. Um, so um, we got 
her confronting her stepsister and saying, you know, no, I thought that that's why you came to this farm because this is where your dude is. He's been here the whole time. Um, and then the evil stepmother stabbing Ashley, aka Cinderella, just, just, just straight up, just, just like shanked her with with her fucking walking stick. That was that was cold. That was cold blooded. Uh, thankfully, Emma manages to harness her healing power and save her. Um, but she had a little bit of a a tick for the first bit before she really got going until Henry said, you can do it. So it's, it's definitely, I think this is tied to, I think the shakes is tied to her confidence, um, at least a little bit. Um, so after all this happens, we get a scene with Jekyll meeting Dr. Frankenstein, um, and they're going to team up. They're going to be science bros. They're going to be science bros and try and figure out how the hell the evil queen's still alive. Um, so, welcome back, Dr. Whale. Um, Emma asks Hook to move in with her. Um, which is like, yay, fucking finally. I thought they were already living together, but oops. My bad. Um, so there's that. Um, the information David got from Rumple Turns out his dad was actually murdered. He was stabbed. He wasn't drunk and... Tr and he, he wasn't drunk dr drunk carting. Um... And so he, he's got to decide how what he's going to do about that. Snow doesn't want him to do anything, but he he's stubborn, and he'll probably end up doing something stupid. Um, and then we get to actually hear the lullaby poem from uh, Rumpel as Belle actually listens to it, which is nice. Um, I thought it was actually a really cool poem. Um, and his, his cadence is really stellar and it, you can tell the thickness of his accent actually comes out, uh, in that, which I find really cool. Um, and then we end the episode with evil queen breaking out hide. Um, so it's like, wow, that was fucking simple. That was way too damn simple, uh, than it should have been. So yeah. Um, overall I'm going to give the episode a B minus, um, because there were some fun things in it, but like I said, it followed kind of Cinderella 2, which wasn't that great of a movie. Um, so there's that. Um, the line of the episode, we actually have a line of the episode, uh, Snow asks Regina, what does, what does Dr. Jekyll and Dr. Frankenstein sound like? And she says, the world's scariest pediatricians. <laughs> So that was actually pretty funny. Um, all right, so that's it for episode three. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like down below. You know, punch that thumbs up for me. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please hit that little red subscribe button down there. It helps me out a lot. Um, tell me, guys, what was your favorite part of this episode? Uh, for me, I think it was the, the science bros was probably my favorite part. Uh, what was yours? Let me know, and I'll see you guys next week. Later, geeks.